hello friends let's see the rectus abdominis muscle this rectus abdominis muscle it is situated more anteriorly than that of the three other muscles of the anterior abdominal wall and this rectus abdominis muscle it is the strap variety of the muscle this rectus abdominis muscle which is situated on the both the sides of the linea alba within the anterior part of the anterior abdominal wall and this rectus abdominis muscle it is going to arise by the two head from the lower side and it is going to insert to the upper part of the abdomen this rectus abdominis muscle it is wider above and the narrower below this rectus abdominis muscle it is going to arise by the two head one the medial head and the other one is the lateral head the medial head it is going to arise from the anterior surface of the pubic symphysis which is present somewhere here and it is going to intermingle with the same fibers of the opposite side muscle while the lateral head it is going to arise from the lateral part of the pubic crest and the pubic tubercle and this rectus abdominis muscle which is insert on the upper part of the abdomen in a four flesh slip the most medial slip it is going to insert over the anterior aspect of the xiphoid process while the lateral three slips they are going to insert over the fifth sixth and the seventh costal cartilage when we see the peculiarity of this rectus abdominis muscle it has three tendinous intersection within it and these are the horizontal tendinous intersections one is present at the level of the xiphoid process another it is present at the level of the umbilicus and the third one it is present midway between these two intersections and these are called as the tendinous intersections of the rectus abdominis these tendinous intersections they are attached with the anterior wall of the rectus sit and penetrate within the anterior part of the rectus abdominis muscle only sometime the fourth tendinous intersection is also present and when it is present it is present below the umbilicus so these tendinous intersections are mostly 3 in number in most of the people but sometime it may be 4 in number also the older concept regarding this tendinous intersections of the rectus abdominis muscle was that this tendinous intersections are formed by the segmental development of the rectus abdominis muscle but the newer concepts regarding this tendinous intersections of the rectus abdominis muscle is that this tendinous intersections they developed after the complete development of the rectus abdominis muscle so we can say it developed secondarily and the secondary development of this intersections of the rectus abdominis muscle which will divide this rectus abdominis muscle into smaller segments which provide the strength to the muscle when we see the now supply of the rectus abdominis muscle it is going to be supplied by t7 to t12 spinal nerve from its ventral ramus when we see the action of this rectus abdominis muscle when this rectus abdominis muscle get contract it will lead to the increase into the intra abdominal pressure and that's why it is responsible for the compression of the abdominal cavity this rectus abdominis muscle it is also responsible for the protection of the viscera which are present within the abdominal cavity and the contraction of the bilateral side of this rectus abdominis muscle will lead to the flexion of the vertebral column now after having this orientation of the rectus abdominis muscle sometime one triangular muscle which is present just anterior to this rectus abdominis muscle within the rectus sit and this muscle it is going to arise from the pubic symphysis as well as from the pubic crest and this muscle fibers they are passes upward and then going to insert within the linea alba midway between the umbilicus and the pubic symphysis 
and this muscle it is called as the pyramidalis muscle this pyramidalis muscle it is going to be supplied by t12 spinal nerve that is the subcostal spinal nerve when we see the action of this pyramidalis muscle it is going to tense the linea alba and sometimes this pyramidalis muscle may be absent either on one side or on the both the sides so this is all about the rectus abdominis muscle along with the pyramidalis muscle